Uh, this is Paul, yes, uh-huh. <laughs> Entertain no doubt as to the validity of the ratification by North and South Carolina. <laughs> the following day, July 21st of 1868, pooch. <laughs> Congress passed a resolution which declared the 14th Amendment to be a part of the Constitution mm -hmm, and directed the Secretary of State so to promulgate it. The Secretary waited, however, until the newly constituted legislature of Georgia oh, had ratified the amendment, pooch, subsequent to an earlier rejection before the promulgation of the ratification of the new amendment. Now, this promulgation of the existing states at that time, and I will find out how many of them existed and did ratify it. <laughs> See, what happens is, every time you decide to fuck with me, you're actually fucking with the ratifying of the actual amendment itself. Yes. <laughs> and the promulgating it. <laughs> promulgation means that they actually have to inform the citizens that it's an enforceable amendment that cannot be violated. Ah! It's a, it's kind of a fancy word for meaning advertising. Yes, they advertise the amendment. <laughs> they make sure that every citizen of their respective states that ratified it, yes, that it is an enforceable amendment. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> and that if you as a court decide that you're going to arrest me for failure to appear because you did not do what the actual court record says, <laughs> You didn't just violate the 14th Amendment. Yes, you violated the ratification and promulgation of a constitutional amendment. <laughs>